Good morning, children. How are you? I hope you all are uh, safe indoors and not troubling your parents. Huh? All right. So today I'm going to start a new lesson, which is lesson number 10, the three little pigs of your reader book. And this is only the reading video. Let's see how they look actually. Now here you can see there's a picture of a pig. Now generally you'll, you'll find a pig in a color of peach or little pink color. And on the other side you can see the pig baby that is called a piglet. Alright, this is I know this is a new term for you. So pig baby is called a piglet. Do you know the newborn piglets, that is the newborn pig babies, they learn to run to their mother's voices and recognize their own names. So they are very smart. Now let's do the reading. The three little pigs of lesson number 10 of your reader book. Once upon a time, there lived three little pigs in a forest. Their names were Piggly, Wiggly, and squiggly. They would play all day in the forest and at night sleep under a banyan tree. One day a wicked wolf came to live in the forest. He began to eat the animals there one by one. The pigs were very scared. They decided that they must build their own houses as it was no longer safe to sleep under the tree. So you can see in the picture, the pig is trying to make a house. Squiggly, who was the laziest to fall, decided to make his house with straw. He gathered some straw from a farm and quickly put together his straw hut. He asked his brothers to stay with him, but they refused. They wanted to make their own houses. At night, the wicked wolf came upon Squiggly's house. He huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. Squiggly ran away to the forest just in time. Squiggly went to Wiggly's place to take shelter. Wiggly was busy making his own house with sticks. Both of them dug the sticks deep into the ground and finished making the house. They now felt safe from the wicked wolf. Sure enough, the wolf came that night and he huffed and he puffed and he blew Wiggly's house down too. Both Squiggly and Wiggly ran for their lives. They ran straight to Piggly, who was the wisest of the three. He was working hard constructing his house. Piggly was making his house with cement and bricks. Squiggly and Wiggly saw that a lot of work still needed to be done. Piggly told his brothers not to worry and that if the three of them worked together, they could build a strong house before night fall. That night, the big bad wolf was there. He took a look at Piggly's house and he huffed and he puffed but could not blow the house down. Again he huffed and he puffed but he could not blow the house down. He kept trying till he left, till he felt tired and too weak to trouble the pigs. Squiggly and Wiggly realized the importance of working hard and working as a team. The three pigs lived happily even after. So here you can see how the pig is enjoying with all the piglets. So thank you children. This was just a reading video and I want all of you to read this chapter thoroughly. Okay, bye-bye. Take care.